Hey guys, this is Harry from Genesis Blockchain and today I'm going to be demonstrating a design pattern um, which demonstrates how someone can use a Chainlink smart contract that connects to external data without actually needing to own, buy, hold or use any link or ETH slash gas. So essentially the problem is a lot of businesses and enterprises aren't really going to want to buy, hold and own crypto at the moment. So because of this, in the context of these Chainlink smart contracts, you either need to ensure the contracts pre-funded all the time whenever you want to interact with it, or in this other scenario that I'm going to explain, we're going to show that someone else can actually provide that link and ETH required to execute the transactions on the smart contract that uh, connect to external data and cause a state change. So the way in which it does this is via what's called meta transactions, which isn't a new thing for Ethereum, but essentially a transaction is generated and signed by the user, which is us, and then it's sent off to a, a relayer that, as, that operates as a service and validates our transaction and then posts it on the blockchain for us and pays the ETH and in this case, the link as well. So before I go any further, you can see I've got zero ETH, zero link on my account here on Roxton. And what we're going to do is on our front end, we're going to um, choose a city. So we're going to choose Athens and submit. We're going to sign the transaction here. Now the transaction will get forwarded onto our relay of service. Oh, and there's our hash. So while we wait, I'll show you just the, the, the contract itself. So it's a simple contract which makes use of the Honeycomb API for weather, where we pass in a city, it gets the average temperature, and it updates the smart contract with the results. So that's kind of the, the chain link smart contract example that we're using here. So as you can see, uh, we've got a calculated total dollar amount used in link and ETH which has a dollar calculation, which I'll go through uh, and explain to you in a minute. But once the Oracle has received our request, we should see an updated uh, temperature value and count on the front end. And as you can see, here's our transaction that went through and we can see 0.108 link came in and 0.108 went out all in the same transaction and we had a certain amount of ETH used in the transaction. It's quite high because of my gas limits. But if we go back to the front end here, we should see now the average temperature and chain link data request count should change once we get the result from the Oracle. There we go. So the average temperature in Athens is 30 today and our data request count went up to three. So as you can see, we interacted with a chain link smart contract that fetched external data and made a state change and we did it in a way where we didn't actually have to own or use any cryptocurrency. So you can kind of see down here that our calculated uh, amount at the bottom went up by a little bit as well. So essentially if we're going to be interacting with these smart contracts and then we're going to be relying on someone else to post them for us, then that other someone else is going to be sending us a, an invoice, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly or whatever. They're going to send us an invoice to say, this is how much link we've used, this is how much ETH was used, this is the price of those assets at the time of transaction and you know they might add a margin of 10% or something. So in order to do those things, they need four things. They need the ETH that was used in these transactions and the link that was used in these transactions. And then at the time of each transaction, we need to know the price of link and the price of ETH in dollar value. So then we can put those four together and come up with an accurate dollar value. And, and that's essentially what that bottom um, calculation is. And the way we make use of the link price reference contracts is when the transaction occurs that we want to um, calculate the dollar amount for, we're actually emitting events which have the link and the ETH USD current values in them. So we, we, we connect to those price reference feeds and obtain those values and then emit them in an event which then we look at in our calculation. So everything comes from on-chain and 
the calculation itself because it's using all blockchain data and the chain link price reference feed data it's it's extremely uh hot, secure and tamper proof and reliable as well so we'll just do one more example here where i'll choose my home sydney let me submit sign the transaction we should see our calculated total amount um, change once the transaction gets confirmed and then eventually when the oracle receives the request and posts the response we then should see the state change of the average temperature and the chain link data request count so as you can see the calculated amount has gone up to 42 dollars now and if we look at our contract we should see some more transactions come up there we go one minute ago so here's our new transaction you can have a look at the details so 0.108 link came in 0.108 link went out here's our gas that we've used uh, 0.03 eth in this case so we can take that 0 0.108 0 0.03 Combine them with the price of ETH and LINK at the time of this transaction, and then that number gets added on to the running total, and then we've got our new updated total here. And you can see the temperature has changed now, so Sydney 14 degrees, and our data request count has gone up to four. So that's about it, really. In conclusion, what we've presented here today is a design pattern that allows enterprises or businesses or anyone really to use these chain linked smart contracts that make use of external data and inputs. And it lets them use them in a way where we, they don't actually need to own any ETH or LINK and the contract itself doesn't need to be pre-funded. And in addition to this, we, we can make use of the chain link price reference feeds in a way to calculate how much dollar value has been spent in these assets on these contracts. And we can do it in a way that's highly secure, tamper-proof and uh, extremely accurate. Thanks for watching.